and it's running core routers in tier one operators worldwide. So it's, it's definitely there and it's definitely working, but we can enable a lot more. Once we enable different applications, um, when we were talking about cloud gaming, the key aspect, perhaps the number one or even the only one which, which really matters is latency. How far is the application which is running the rendering function from the user who is consuming it? And that's what dictates the user experience. So when we're talking about 5G, 5G is not faster, it's wider in its bandwidth. It doesn't make bits run faster throughout the network. Speed of light is the speed of light, and we're not gonna change that. So what we can do is we can pull the application closer to where the application is being consumed. Uh, and this is where edge, edge computing is coming, is coming into play. Now, eventually there's going to be a network in between where the application is being consumed, the user, and where it's being run, the compute uh, session. There is always gonna be a network, and the closest that you can get to, to getting the application closer to the network is actually running it in the network itself. Now, in terms of location, it can be practically anywhere. And in the fact that we're taking physical infrastructure and we are creating an abstraction of it, means that we can consume that resource compute or network or storage or whatnot um, as resources where they are deployed. So that, in a way, pulls in the application much closer to where it's being consumed. So all of this is being enabled by, by creating this level of abstraction between what software application runs on top and this level of disaggregation that uh, um, in 5G was kind of dictated by 3GPP definitions, we kind of boiled it down to the backbone of the network and we're applying it on infrastructure.